to promote the Ghana Beyond Aid agenda and align with development partners transition from development cooperation to trade, the BUSAC Fund also focused on advocacy issues that sought to promote trade facilitation across West Africa and Africa. Its support to business associations has created an enabling environment for trade and ultimately increased turnover and created employment opportunities. The Association of Ghana Industries, AGI, is a business association of approximately 2,000 members as the leading voice of manufacturing industries in the country. AGI is dedicated to advocating policies that advance the growth and development of industries. Well, the manufacturing sector of Ghana has uh, experienced serious challenges in the past. The sector's contribution to GDP was quite low. The growth rate was even at some point negative, and we had serious imports competing with the local producers. We thought that there was a need to do thorough sector analysis to see where the challenges are so that if you are tackling it, you know which sectors to pep up, which sectors and what kind of intervention will be required. So it was very important that we do a sector analysis and do a lot of engagement to ensure that we bring the manufacturing sector up. BUSAC supported the conduct of the sector analysis and we picked a few sectors that we thought were critical in the manufacturing sector of Ghana. And these sectors, because one, they employ a lot of people, we thought that the technology applied by enterprises in these sectors is not so sophisticated and they have the local raw materials uh, and therefore we are generally competitive in this sector. BUSA support also helped us in, in uh, creating stakeholder platforms and engaging government in a very strong way to bring out some of the challenges that was facing the manufacturing sector. Indeed we also realized that there are issues regarding taxes that have to be looked at and uh, how to give special concessions and then even government procurement. One of the sectors that was included in this, for example, is the textile sector. And we noticed that smuggling and piracy of locally designed products was at the highest level. So we needed to have a task force uh, to deal with that. So all these interventions had to be developed in order to uh, help develop the manufacturing sector. Advocacy today is backed by evidence. And to produce the evidence, you need surveys, you need research, you need skills to be able to do that. But the resources to conduct some of these surveys is not there for us as an association and several others. So BUSAC has helped us in developing all these surveys. The good thing is that we have internalized some of these skills. So today, even in the absence of BUSAC, we should still continue to conduct some of these surveys because they've become, become like a template. So using the template, we should be able to continue the research we do and then help our advocacy work. So BUSAC has been really great to the Association of Ghana Industries and then to Ghanaian Industries as a whole and then to individual, individual enterprises who have benefited from our advocacy work because it's been so successful and it's impacting directly on their businesses. So thank you BUSAC. The absence of a national mushroom sector development policy to facilitate a definite national direction for developing the mushroom industry in Ghana created undue impediment and drawbacks in the industry. There was a need for a policy because we realized people were losing their capital. At any point in time, anybody at all could stand up today and say, I'm doing mushroom or I'm cropping mushroom. Then, any time they fold up. So it became a challenge because there's a product you are marketing out there to people and you need volumes to survive. Mushroom Growers and Exporters Association of Ghana embarked on an advocacy for the development of a comprehensive mushroom sector development policy. BUSAC had made it possible for us to be exposed. The first is having achieved, BUSAC has helped us achieve a DEX at the Ministry of Agric as we speak now. We can say boldly and with confidence that the governments of Ghana know us. For the first time in the history of mushroom, the Mushroom Association was invited to take part of the 76th National Farmers Day Awards and it's a big class. Now our business is boosted. Why is it boosted? There is a lot of market demands. Mogrek with support from BUSAC has helped me a lot and I have now scaled up from 1,000 Ghana cities to 3,000 to 4,000 Ghana cities per week sales and it's very encouraging. 
We would like to thank the Buzak Fund and its partners for bringing us this far. Today, as we speak, we have a recognition from the government of Ghana as a hallmark that we wouldn't have achieved without Busak. The Ghana National Chamber of Commerce Industry represents the voice for the business community with total commitment to playing a leadership role towards propelling Ghana's economy to higher heights. The duty drawback is a refund of duties and taxes paid on imported raw materials that are used as an input um, for manufacturing goods and also exported. So once you do, you import and you pay the duty on the raw materials and you export, you add value to it and you export, the duty you paid or the imported good has to be refunded to you. Basically, is to make the private sector in Ghana more competitive internationally and also provide an incentive for businesses to export. But we realized that the, the, the process was so cumbersome, so slow and very frustrating. So businesses, instead of going for the refund, they will not go. So they have huge money sitting with GIA. Meanwhile, they needed money to expand. So they will go to the banks and take money at a higher interest rate. So this was actually affecting the manufacturing sector instead of getting the money from, from GIA. The results for me was very impressive and was uh, quite immediate. Uh, right after the stakeholder engagement, the next day, government released 5 million Ghana cities to pay 27 bigger companies that were being owed the duty drawback. And for me, uh, if there is anything that we have achieved as a chamber, this advocacy really holds key to, to that. So that was what actually motivated the chamber uh, to do this advocacy on streamlining the duty drawback process in Ghana so that manufacturing companies who export these raw materials can go for their refund, invest those monies into their businesses and expand. And that also helped them to export more for Ghana to get the foreign revenue that we need as a country. As an autonomous business support organization, they serve as a link between established businesses, the emergent sector and government at the various levels whilst offering its members a myriad of business support services. USAC provided both financial and technical support right from the research level to the um, stakeholder engagement. So the, the first activity was even build the capacity of chamber staff and executives on how we can do advocacy and also how we can engage uh, duty bearers to be able to uh, get the results that, that we want. To enhance trade and also improve on trade facilitation, we approach BUSAC for funding to do uh, advocacy on improving efficiency and reducing costs at the port, both um, our seaport and our airport. So the Tema Takradi and the, the, the International Airport. Proud to this advocacy also, we noticed and also received consent from our members that it takes so long for uh, an importer to clear their goods. The dual time per our research was between 20 to 25 days, which means that if you have imported something from anywhere and it comes to Tema Port or Takradi Port, it will take you on average 20 to 25 days to clear. Internationally, on average, it was less than 10%, so it wasn't efficient for us. We also realized that there were about 16 institutions that were some way, somehow, involved in clearing goods. So you move from one desk to another, the time spent and the money paid also increased the cost of, of, of doing business. And also, we also realized that the, the system was so frustrating such that people at a point in time will even leave their goods and not come back for it. So we approached this, as I said earlier on, to help us do advocacy and improve the system. Now, the dual time, the time it takes for you to clear your goods has drastically reduced from the 20 to 25 days to a maximum of three days if you have all your documents uh, intact. Now, they have also reduced the institutions that were operating at the uh, port, which were 16 to about three now. So now it's very much easier and cost effective for you to clear your goods from the port. We have also done what is called the business profiling. At the moment, uh, there is no proper profiling of individual sectors within the economy. So if an investor is coming to Ghana and wants to invest in a specific sector, you just go to an institution, let's say GIPC, and it will give you a few figures of what is happening there. We have gone a step further 
and I've done proper profiling of the revenue stream of these companies, their profit stream, and all the things that you need to know that will inform your decision on which of the sectors for you to invest in. This is a trailblazing um, project that we have done. And I'm so much happy and grateful to BUSAC for supporting us to do this particular project. Ghana will benefit from this particular project because our last stakeholder meeting that we had, we had all the major institutions in Ghana being part of the stakeholder meeting and BUSAC sponsored this particular stakeholder meeting. So the chamber is very much grateful. Vegetables Producers and Exporters Association of Ghana, VPEG, is one of the many associations which receive support from the BUSAC Fund. 2015, they banned Ghana not to export vegetable to Europe based on pest management and food fly and then uh, harmful organism they normally find in our produce in Europe. So they banned Ghana a full one year not to export about five vegetables not to go to Europe. Through the financial support of the FAN, VPEC provided business development services training for its members to enable them produce quality vegetables with standard packaging for the export market. European Union have protocol which we have to follow, where Ghana send a dosage to European Union. So based on that, we have to follow that, and then European Union send delegation to visit some of the farm to do audit and do audit at, at our airport to see so that we can able to export. So based on the Buzak farm, we were able to prepare some of our farmers so that when the European Union came in, they visit the farm gladly and we pass the audit. And then from 2016 up to now, we are exporting now. Because of COVID, some of the countries are not producing. And most of the buyers have a confidence in Ghana produce where, you know, we take about five and a half hours to Europe by air. So we have advantage on that. The training has enabled Vegetables Producers and Exporters Association of Ghana to operate more efficiently and profitably. We want to extend our appreciation to Buzak where I'm sitting in the sense that through Buzak we're able to produce well go to exhibition to see a new buyers which we are able to be supplying to them constantly because after capacity people grow what is the bottom line is a market and they're able to help us to grow well and then go to exhibition to exhibit the product is coming from Ghana through Buzak support we're able to have a lot of market around which we can't even meet our supply.